Hello everyone, welcome back to this channel. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. So today I want us to talk about uh, teenagehood and teenagers. And in this video, I'll focus majorly on signs that your teenager might be having a mental health issue. So how do you know whether your teenager is fine or is having a rough uh, patch uh, along the way. So, fast forward, uh, at number one is withdrawal. So, most teenagers who have a lot of issues going on around their life will tend to be withdrawn. If they were not withdrawn before, then this will tell you that something is out of order and uh, you will know that this will be compounded by spending too much time in their rooms so they will always try as much as possible to stay away from people and that can tell you that something is off. Uh, the second sign is that they will struggle to get out of bed most of the time in the morning. So if they were to go to school, they will even fake some sickness so that they don't uh, get to maybe go to school. And this one maybe, uh, your teenager might be going through bullying at school or they might be struggling with maybe some subject at school and they might not be really wanting to go to school to get maybe the comments from uh, from teachers the bad comments that put them down and you know that in teenagehood uh, these kids are trying to adjust and maybe get to identify who they are they are struggling with confidence issues and uh, self-esteem issues so if they are struggling with something and they don't have somebody to guide them, they always tend to uh, get low self-esteem and they might not be able to go to school or want to wake up to go to school because they have that low self-esteem. And the third uh, sign is that they, have, they, they become numb or they become apathetic about things uh, they, they would enjoy or they would ordinarily love. And this one, you find that they have lost interest in things. I started by saying that they withdrew, and well, withdrawing, they tend maybe to stay away from friends who they enjoy doing things with, or they enjoy doing stuff with. And with time, they start losing interest in doing what? In um, enjoying the things they used to enjoy, and the things that they used to love naturally. So this one should tell you that something is off. And then uh, the fourth sign is that their grades uh, at school may start dropping um, all of a sudden. And they don't have an explanation as to why this is happening. You might see them reading, you might see them revising, but they don't make the cut. So that should tell you that something is off, maybe at school or maybe at home. Uh, maybe the environment that you're providing for the kids might not be conducive and it might end up interfering with their grades as well. So um, please ensure that sometimes you check on them, check on the grades, check on how they are doing, ask them how the out school was, ask them how their day was and all that. Uh, ensure that you uh, keep tabs with them and how their life is. Um, at number five, is that uh, the fifth sign, they struggle to engage in or concentrate um, on their work. Maybe you always leave them um, things to do or you have certain homeworks that you give them after school or maybe even the one given by the teachers. So you'll find that sometimes they really have a hard time concentrating on doing these tasks and they have so much divided attention to things and they can't concentrate and sit down and do one stuff and complete it. So uh, they might be having some fear or they might be having some anxieties that are as a result of maybe home or maybe school or maybe friends or you know at teenagehood people also try to experiment a lot. They want to know whether they can be loved and all that. So maybe they are trying to, they have fears of uh, their, the person, the people they think love them and 
they might be giving them some kind of anxiety or maybe they are trying to conform to some group and they can't fit in so they might end up uh, struggling they might end up struggling to do some stuff that they if they did have a mental health issue they will always be doing them swiftly and without struggle yeah so at number 6 uh, they send sad memes if they if you bought them maybe a smartphone um, you'll find that in their WhatsApp statuses or maybe Instagram or Facebook they'll try to send uh, sad memes on social media and this is a way um, at, in some quarters they say that this is a way of dealing with maybe stress or depression uh, in a better way than maybe acting out but if your teenager all of a sudden starts sending sad memes on social media you should at least be alarmed and know that something is not right with the teenager uh, number seven they talk hopelessly about the future so you might find that a very young and um, ambitious teenager now start dropping the dreams that they had like if before they'll be talking about me if i grow up i want to be like maybe dad maybe dad is a doctor i want to be like mom maybe dad, maybe mom is an accountant but all of a sudden they say that okay um even being becoming a doctor doesn't make sense there's no use to becoming a doctor and all that and you know they just lose their dream and they start talking low about the future they don't see a future so you should inquire more you should ask whether something is wrong or whether they are um, doing well um, so at number eight uh, they, they appear on age often e.g they when they are seated they keep on rubbing their legs their eyes keep on darting all around they struggle to sit still especially if you sit them down and want to have maybe a conversation you'll find that uh, they won't be able to like uh, pay attention and they always look on edge so number nine uh, they say they say that they feel misunderstood or uh, most of the time they always feel like they, they always say that okay I have a sister I have a mother I have a father I have maybe siblings but I just feel like I'm alone so uh, this should be a sign and it should tell you that uh, these people are the teenager is struggling with uh, maybe they, they feel like they are not loved enough and all that so they feel like maybe you argue a lot with them maybe you don't appreciate what they do and they will always feel like they are not understood at all the times um, at number nine they say they feel misunderstood or alone and this one comes as a result of uh, maybe you keep on arguing a lot with them you keep on um, maybe not appreciating what they do and they might feel like you argue a lot and you don't give them a chance to explain themselves and you know in in uh, in teenage in teenagehood emotions run a lot because they are still trying to figure out how the world works and if they if they realize that you don't listen to them they will always feel like they are misunderstood all the time so even if you know you can always be right you can you can sometimes be wrong but you need to always at least listen to them and get their point of view in some of these things that involve the, involve their life uh, at number 10 uh, they they are uh, they've had an abrupt you feel like they've had an abrupt shift in social cycles at school e.g they, they they keep on falling out with friends they distance themselves from people and uh, you find that if they were close with someone that you know they tend to like now disintegrate and start uh, dissociating from them and this one should be a sign that something is is going uh, haywire and 
maybe their, their social life is not working that well for them and maybe you need to come come in and um, try to talk to them and encourage them and let them know uh, that they are worthy of more than they think they are and if this is not done you find that they end up maybe continuing to go deep and deep and deep in what is disturbing them and they might not be able to find a solution for themselves and with this a mental health issue may arise so they might end up getting depression they might end up getting uh, depressed and in this stage teenagers are very vulnerable at number 11 um, they have big changes in appetite so um, Teenagers might, it's natural, it's known that teenagers eat a lot, but you know, when they have issues, when they're happy, they eat a lot. When they're angry, they eat maybe little, but when they have some mental health issues, maybe they are uh, depressed, maybe they have stress, you find that their appetite changes abruptly and they might end up eating more or less. And this one um, should be a sign to you as a parent, or to you as a brother, or to you as a sister, or as a guardian, you should be able to see that something is not right. Maybe they are used to doing it once in a while, but if this is continuous, you should be able to, you should be able to like ascertain that something, whether something is right or something is wrong. So this is a very big sign that you should, that you need to look out for. Then at number 12, they always appear tired, like they are just uh, going through the emotions. So it's natural also, again, for teenagers to look tired, but if they always appear tired, even if they have not uh, like done some sports, if they have not engaged in some hard work, so loss of energy, they have low energy. That means that something is working, working them up. Maybe they are dealing with something that they are not, if you are not open always with your uh, teenagers, they might feel like there's nobody to talk to and they end up feeling like uh, they have all this to deal with on their own. And you know, they say that uh, mental, w when you're tired mentally, it's even more worse than when you're tired physically so they might not be doing something they might not be engaging in something but then they just have low energy I said it's natural but if it is continuous if it goes on for a, for a while maybe a month or three months you know that you should be able to tell that something is out of order then um, at number 13 they are sensitive to being criticized it's also again I'll say it's natural but you know, you uh, you know your kids better than anyone else. So, if all along you've been able to like speak as individuals, and they don't react so much to criticism, you know, maybe depending, uh, we will say that there is positive criticism and negative criticism. So, if they always uh, respond well to negative criticism. Uh, and all of a sudden, they start uh, feeling very sensitive to being criticized. They feel like they are judged. That means they feel like they, you are judging them. And that should be a sign that somewhere or maybe among the friends or um, friends at school or friends at home, uh, there's something they have been trying to maybe achieve or accomplish together, but they have not been able to do that. Maybe uh, once in a while, he have failed in uh, he or she has failed in doing something right, and they keep on judging them uh, with that mistake, and they can't give them the chance to maybe do better. So at home, this is a safe place that they should feel like at least. People understand them, people uh, can encourage them, 
and if you keep on criticizing them negatively, uh, they always find a way of doing better. But if all of a sudden, things that you always correct them, they start feeling like you're judging them, uh, it should be a sign that they are not doing well. Yeah. So uh, this has to do with self-esteem mostly, and you need to help them improve themselves. Um, at number 14, they, uh, they start, maybe they can start using dark humor, especially at, in, at inappropriate times. So um, once in a while, it's okay to use dark humor. Even us as adults, we use dark humor. But you know, if this is something that has come out from nowhere, maybe it might be an influence from fellow teenagers, but if it is used inappropriately, then uh, that should tell you that something is off again. At number 15, and this is the last one that I'm going to talk about, they struggle to make eye contact with you. So, um, you know, it's very easy to tell if a teenager is doing something wrong. And um, one of the ways that you can tell, maybe it's your family tradition that you should not look straight into someone's eye, and which is also in some aspect might not be that good or might show some sign of indiscipline. But, you know, once in a while, um, it's good to keep an eye contact for some time so that at least you know that somebody is paying attention and all that. But if your teenager keeps on like uh, looking away from you, if you're talking to them, maybe uh, you might be, you might not be kind maybe with how you look at them. You might be staring, you might be doing all that and that, maybe glaring and all that. But um, maybe there is a struggle inside. They're feeling low and they're feeling uh, terrible about themselves and they might think that if they look at you directly, you might discover what is going on with them. So you should always check on your teenagers. Be a source of encouragement to them. Encourage them. Uh, per persuade them to talk to you and express themselves, express themselves to you, express themselves to people they are close to who can always help them out with the issues they are struggling with. So, even when, in, when it comes to criticism, please always try to criticize positively your kids or your teenagers so that they develop their self-esteem, they have the courage to face life as it is. So, um, I'll leave it at this point. If you feel like there's something that I've left out, or if you feel like you have something to add on to this, please do not hesitate to comment. And if you find this video helpful, please consider sharing with your friends uh, so that this message can be spread. And please be kind to one another, be kind to people. Uh, you never know what they are struggling with. So I hope this video helps you. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you very much for watching to this end. Please consider subscribing to this channel so that we can be able to produce more of these videos and the same type of these videos. And if you feel like there is something you want me to talk about, please use the comment section, uh, suggest what you want me to talk about, and I'll appreciate. Bye. Thank you for listening.